Astros are the latest team that will be asked whether they'll visit Trump at the White House. The Houston Astros, fresh off winning the first World Series in franchise history, now find themselves next in line to answer the question, will they visit President Trump in the White House if an invitation is extended? The New England Patriots, Pittsburgh Penguins and Clemson Tigers have chosen to celebrate their championships with a traditional visit since Trump took office. But the president disinvited the Golden State Warriors, who had opened training camp last month saying they planned to take a vote. However, with Steve Kerr and Stephen Curry vocal critics of the president, Trump angrily announced that he was rescinding the invitation, tweeting, Going to the White House is considered a great honor for a championship team. Stephen Curry is hesitating, therefore, the invitation is withdrawn. Warriors general manager Bob Myers indicated that he had spoken with at least one White House representative about a possible visit and the team stated that it was disappointed not to have been given a chance to discuss the matter before Trump ended the conversation. So, when the team visits Washington for a February 28 game, it said it plans to constructively use our trip to the nation's capital in February to celebrate equality, diversity and inclusion, the values that we embrace as an organization. Washington Mayor Muriel Lee Bowser later welcomed the idea in a statement, which finished with, And if anyone ever tells you that you cannot come to D.C., tell them Mayor Bowser invited you. Neither the White House nor the Astros have signaled their intentions, with the World Series Game 7 victory less than 24 hours old. The team's owner, Jim Crane, says he's neutral when it comes to politics, but he has professed his admiration for former President Barack Obama with whom he played golf and met Cuba President Raul Castro when Major League Baseball made a historic trip to the country in the spring of 2016. He just knows, Crane, who contributed to Obama's campaigns, told Paper City last winter. He does his homework, knows how to say something relevant. He's really easy to be around. He asks you personal questions. He asks about your daughter. He'll ask, well, how'd you hit that, golf? Shant? What were you thinking about? He likes to play. More, he's competitive. He'll always want to play for a dollar a nine. Nothing crazy. Astros pitcher Colin McHugh was outspoken last January after then President elect Trump derided Georgia Representative John Lewis and his district in Atlanta, where McHugh lives. Lewis, who is a Democrat and a civil rights icon, had said that he didn't see Trump as a legitimate president because of alleged interference by Russia in the election. Trump fired back on Twitter that Lewis's district is in horrible shape and falling apart, not to mention crime infested, rather than falsely complaining about the election results. All talk, 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 no action or results. Sad. As someone who lives in the Atrep John Lewis 5th district, I don't think hash DJT has any idea what he's talking about. Hash Atlanta on the rise hash file t.co web link. Colin McHugh, at Colin underscore McHugh, January 14, 2017. And then doubling down by insulting the civil rights hero on hash mlkwknd.wow. Hash classy t.co web link. Colin McHugh, at Colin underscore McHugh. January 14, 2017. McHugh explained, though, that his wasn't anti-Trump, just anti-bullying and pro-respect. I'm not anti-Trump, I'm just anti-bullying and pro-respect t.co web link. Colin McHugh, at Colin underscore McHugh, January 14, 2017. For the Astros, other things are on their minds immediately. Like a victory parade Friday. Read more from the post. He would make a great president, Steve Kerr endorses Greg Popovich. Astros thrash Dodgers, win franchise's first World Series. Tom Boswell, George Springer, the World Series MVP, might be the best story on a team full of great stories. Carlos Correa proposes to girlfriend moments after winning the